Hello and welcome back to Woodridge Family Wisdom at pppptime.com and my name is Rose and my name is Daryl and welcome back to our channel and today is Tuesday. Tuesday and you know on Tuesdays we do focus in on the two of us and we are continuing our conversation and if you've been watching any of these videos you know that in February we celebrate our 38th wedding anniversary and yeah. we have been together for 42 years so we are making an intentional and a conscious effort to better our relationship we felt like we've always had an awesome relationship and we've always wanted to be together and so uh on doing so we decided to put in the work because we didn't want to just be hanging in there we want to make a commitment exactly so let's uh let's start off by going over our memory verse. We were coming out of Proverbs four uh, seventeen and fourteen in the mm -hmm. TPT version, and it reads, "Don't be one who's quick to quarrel, for an argument is hard to stop, right. and you never know how that will end. Mm -hmm. So don't even start down that road." Right. So what we said in short was, "Just, just don't, don't do, do it. it." And on that note, we did create some "just don't." do it tease, tease. so you can go to pursue on passion.com and purchase your just don't do it tea that's pursue on o w n passion.com and get your little friend to remind you just don't do it don't go down that road because you just don't know where argument will end exactly and yeah. you know we always say one emotional decision one bad emotional decision change your life forever for Ever. And I want to say this on both shirts. Them shirts are made of premium material, so mm -hmm. they feel great on your body. I mean, that's not a cheap uh, material that we're using. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really, really great. Right. So, uh, just wanted to add that to the, the top-notch t-shirts. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, and on that note, let's just kind of move on. We're just going to kind of visit or give you like a little quick review because we have been doing these videos now since, uh, like we said, February. Mm -hmm. And the main thing is just becoming emotional, mature, or emotional uh, literate. Mm -hmm. Is that because as we age, we change. And uh, I, it's really funny because now they say men cry a little bit more as they get older because they lose a little bit of that testosterone. They're not as hard. And then as women go through... Uh, menopause or even PMS or postpartum or any type of thing like that, now they're a little more emotional. So now conversations can be a little more heated and a little more emotional. So now we have to try to learn how to be emotional mature or emotional emotional uh, literate. So we have to be intentional with our conversations. We just can't blurt because we do want to validate our partner and want to make them feel good about themselves. So go back and visit some of the other videos that's going to help you do that. We did one on how to listen and resolve issues quickly. And we taught the speaker-listener technique. And also we did one on uh, all the hindrances to good communication. It's about three or four of them. And you just go over all the hindrances to good communication. And so we also talked about how to renew your relationship, the five-to-one rule. So visit that video as well because now what we're doing is now that we learned how to communicate and we know we need to be emotional literate and emotional mature, we're going back and we're adding the love. So last week we talked about uh, how to renew your relationship, 10 phrases uh, for to a better relationship. And they were saying that if you added these 10 phrases in your relationship, your relationship is going to be better than most, right? But today, what are we talking about, babe? Today, we're talking about the five love languages and why you need to incorporate those five love languages, love languages into your relationship. Mm -hmm. It may be easy for some, but it may be more challenging for others, depending on right. what your relationship is going through. Uh, we was talking earlier about how that uh, there are some relationships that they're just ignorant of or don't have the information to apply. Right. apply. We love each other. We want to put in the work. But we honestly don't know what we're doing. Right. I mean, so this ignorant is, is not a bad word. Right. It's just that it's don't know knowledge. what to right. do. Lack of information. And we right. talked about that on right. our Christmas video. Mm -hmm. Like we didn't know what to do. We knew what not to do. Exactly. So now we know some things to do. So we're implementing them. Right. So, so you implement them. Then you might be on the other end of the continuum where one of the partners might not be willing to put in the work. Right. And so we give you what you need to stand on and how you mm -hmm. uh, apply the word and through prayer. 
to get that partner where right. they need to be. Right. Because the Bible says that the heart of the king is in his hand and he can turn it either which way he will. Exactly. So if you have a mate who's not willing to sit down and do the work, well, you definitely gonna have to get into faith for that partner. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because the Bible says, whatsoever man sow, That's what he's going to reap. So just continue to sow love and to do these principles to that mate, mm -hmm. and you're going to reap them according to the word. That's right. And God got scriptures for the woman to stand on, right. as well as for the man to stand on. And if you're interested in knowing that, then comment uh, and reach out to us, and we'll be glad to share that with you. Not only touch and agree with you <clears> in <throat> faith for your partner, but we definitely would give you some scriptures to stand on. Because the Bible said what? He uphold all things. By the word of his power. By the word of his power. Yes. Like I said today, we are going to be talking about the five love languages. And we're going to be giving you a link in the descriptions above or the description below. Whichever where you see this on Facebook or on YouTube. Mm -hmm. For you to go take the assessment. Because we already took our assessment. Right. And we're really revisiting our assessment. Because mm -hmm. we took the assessment in our 30s. We took the assessment in our 40s. Right. We probably took it in our 50s. Mm -hmm. But now I'm 62. <laughs> so, I think that's a good thing every decade. Yeah, do the assessment. Do assessment because yeah. life changes, right? Right. Uh, right now we're retiring. And we're in retirement in the empty nesters, right? right? So that's a different season in your life. And I, I think for us, you know, when you think about it, if you're giving all your time to raising your children and everything mm -hmm. else, and then all of a sudden it's back around to you, mm -hmm. and you're looking in each other's face like, all right, do you still... You know, what, what do we used to do together and everything else? Mm -hmm. How do we date again? How do we, you know, because right. you, you like, you know, the early parts of your marriage again before kids, so to mm -hmm. speak, even though, you know, we always had, but, uh, yeah, you know, you, you got to get back to those love languages. What says I love you? What says I love you? Right. Because you made a good point this morning, too, because a lot of times we do for others mm -hmm. what we would like for them to do for us. Right. But it doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily what they want. That's what you want. Right. So we have to get down to what's saying I love you mm -hmm. to your mate. That'd be just like you want to be loved. Mm -hmm. Love somebody else just like they want to be loved. Right. That's right. what's impactful, mm -hmm. right? Right. And back to the fact that I we took these love lanes, like you said, 40s, 50s, and now I'm 62. Um, I didn't like you said, 30s as well. But yeah, 30s, 40s, and 50s. <laughs> and Because and, we learned this in our 30s. Right. So 30s, 40s, 50s, now I'm 62. It's the fact that how many things changed over that course of uh, yeah, thirty seasons span, of life, right? Seasons. And how now I need to be loved versus how I need to be loved then? Because you know we talked about how back then when I first did the love languages, mm -hmm. I thought acts of service was my love language. Right. But come to find out, I just wanted somebody to help me with these four kids. Right. I want somebody to wash dishes wash some clothes, get somebody ready for church. So it wasn't necessarily my love language. It was right. just the season I was in. You know what? While you're on that, that speaks volumes to the priority of the love languages, mm -hmm. right? And though another love language might have been more priority, still when one is bankrupt, mm -hmm. that can have impact as well. Right. So granted, I might not put $100,000 in an emergency fund, mm -hmm. right? But the emergency fund don't need to be on zero as right, well. Right, right. So every love language needs to be touched. Right. But you definitely need to know the primary right. love language. Right. right. So let's go over those uh, right. five love languages. And then we'll talk more about the assessment. And the goal mm -hmm. of the assessment is to make sure that we're hitting them in the right priority so that your energy is more efficient mm -hmm. uh, in how you use uh, your efforts in your, in your relationship. Right. And I'm sure everybody has heard of the five love languages mm -hmm. by Dr. Gary Chapman. Right. Uh, but let's just go ahead and list them. Okay. So your first one would be words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. Then you have physical touch. Then you have quality time. Then you have gifts. Mm -hmm. And to Rose Point, the acts of service. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I've already talked about my mm -hmm. <laughs> experience with not taking the assessment and just kind of saying and picking out one that I think or uh, right. what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. But so we did the assessment. So mm -hmm. we going to give you the link to go and do the assessment. Mm -hmm. And honey's going to read a couple of questions to kind of let you see how the assessment goes. Right. It's trying to help you prioritize mm -hmm. 
the love languages. Like I said, they're all important. They don't need to be bankrupt. Right. But however, you want to be impactful. You want to be, you want to hit the one intentional, and you want to be impactful. So <laughs> yes. if, if Rose uh, her, was bankrupt in the acts of service, yeah, she might need a little help around the house. But if quality time was her pro her number one, mm -hmm. and we neglected to give her quality time, even though you filled up the acts of services, that still was going to be mm -hmm. so I'm still going to feel depleted. Still going to feel depleted, depleted, right? Mm -hmm. So the assessment is designed to find out how those love languages mm -hmm. prioritize in your life. So here's a couple of examples. It said, and it starts out with the STEM. It's more meaningful to me when I can spend a, a, a long time with my with my partner. Just the two of us. And then the second one is my partner. I, I, it's more meaningful to me when my partner does something practical to help me out. Right. So you have to choose which mm -hmm. one means more to you. And it's so simple because it's just a touch, right? Which right. one you want to choose and you go on to the next question. But right. when it's all said and done, they're going to give you a beautiful graph and show you. How they mm -hmm. how you how they stack how they, up for mm -hmm. for rate you. one through five. Rate mm -hmm. one through five. Okay, what's another example? Here's another question. example. It's it's more meaningful to me when I received a loving note, text, email for no special reason from my loved one. Or <laughs> my partner and I hug. Yeah, so which one would you prefer? Right. So once you go through, there's not that many of these questions, and it's really easy to do it on your cell phone. And like you say at the end, that little circle will come up, and it'll show you the graph from five, the most important to the least important. Mm -hmm. It'll kind of rank that for you based on your answers. Right. So it's very, very simple, but it's very, very important. And one reason it's very, very important today is because I can remember in our 30s, we did not have a lot of time right. to be hitting and missing because mm -hmm. we was raising four children, they were in everything. Right. And we were so involved in our church. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of nights we were like just going and coming. And so in order to make you feel loved, I needed to know exactly, exactly. how to make you feel loved. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So right. as, as busy as everyone is today, you really need to know how to make your husband feel or your wife feel special. Exactly. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I do want to mention also, they give you the opportunity to print your results. You can mm -hmm. download them. But as for us, we just snap the picture of them. Mm -hmm. So we have them in our phone for easy access just to take a look mm -hmm. at them. So, and just yeah. give yours to him and right. him to her. Right. So so that's right. We just send them back through text or email. Right. Bam. So thanks again for joining us on Witcher's Family Wisdom and us becoming emotional mature or emotional literate. Yeah. Right. Now, please like and subscribe and hit that bell so that you can get all the uh, new videos that will be coming your way from Winter Family Wisdom for Couples. So, let us pray over you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we know that faith for our marriage doesn't start with these techniques. But faith to know that we'll be successful comes from our relationship with you. For with you, all things are possible and we can do all things through you who strengthen us. So you said in your word that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in our heart that God raised you from the dead, we shall be saved, meaning that we can receive you in our heart and because of that, we are new creatures. Old things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. So I decree that these marriages will become new based upon the new information and the mind renewal that we're receiving from your word and from these techniques because these techniques are practical applications of your word. With our minds being renewed to the, uh, we're able to prove that good and perfect and acceptable will of God, which is successful marriage. For you said, let not man put asunder what you have put together. For that, we thank you for those that have received Christ in their lives and, and we received the end of our faith for every marriage being strengthened and fortified against that old dirty spirit of divorce. And we thank you that every marriage has been flooded with joy, peace, and tranquility as a result of the new word in season. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And you know, honey, I am reminded that we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. Right. So our marriages and our relationships can be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Exactly. So remember, 
you are. Happy, happy healthy, healthy, wealthy, wealthy fit, fit, and, and forgiving. forgiving. God bless.